Cheers, mates, lads and lasses across the world. It's doom time. I would be hesitant to make this video regarding the 2024 election. Some things I read and saw today have me thinking otherwise. So I just read that Trump may be considering a 2024 election bid, which is bizarre, to say the least. Uh, most people in America don't want Biden or Trump running for presidency again. And based on the 2022 midterms and new rules on gerrymandering, um, the Republican Party is effectively making this a autocracy. I don't know. Most democracies in the world actually aren't really genuine and true democracies. There's some mix of authoritarianism and democracy, but it's very hazy to you know, ascertain. So there's a problem. We can't even have fair and uh, free elections. So I just read that he may be running for re-election, and then just today I saw a truck driving down the street with a large American flag and Trump flag. And I'm just going to quote Representative, two people, the President and Representative Adam Kinzinger. I'm sure you've seen this, this man before. Um, he says that... Uh, this is published June 19th, 2022. He says the 2024 election is going to be a mess. And basically, it's good. there's going to be violence. Okay, if Jan the January 6th insurrection was just like the, the hammer that solidified how broken our democracy is, um, then this will be the real spectacle. Furthermore, Biden just admitted that if his presidency doesn't work out, which we could tell isn't doing very well, then he says, I'm not sure we're going to have a president after me or a country for that matter. So yeah, I don't think this is going to go down anything like what we imagine. Um, most Republican Trump voters live in the country and most Democratic, Democrat, uh, liberal, let's say, individuals, these are all class identifications within a broken system, uh, live in the city. So it's, it's rare that we'll have a full-fledgling, you know, full-fledged war. But the possibility for chains of command to break down and join, partis join lines, you know, with different ranks of commanders and perhaps a shadow government taking place, to, you know, stepping in, uh, then not to mention, let's say, an outside incursion with, with China or Russia making a further move um, for global dominion. Uh, it's, it's not staking up to be too well. Uh, I, I think democracy won't survive this decade along with our entire way of living. And that brings me to my next point, if the news couldn't be any more delightful. This reported July 6th, that was today, climate change is a stronger driver of atmospheric methane increases than we expected. This is vodka and tonic water, by the way. Scientists from the Nanyang Te Technical Technological University in Singapore, NTU Singapore, have shown that recent record-breaking increases of atmospheric concentration of methane can be explained by year-on-year -year changes in climate. They gathered data over the last four decades that show the effects of temperature changes and a rain of con atmospheric concentration of methane. And what they found was that the Earth could be delivering more and removing less methane in the air. Also, as you know, methane is, uh, the impact of methane could be four times greater than the estimated, the, the latest IPCC, and you know methane is about 25 times more potent at trapping greenhouse gases, I mean heat, and this has been covered many times. So that's pretty alarming that we are spiraling out of control, we're clearly in runaway uh, politically, e ecologically speaking. Um, you know, this last article from Axios, event, weather events slam globe from Italy to Australia, a deadly glacial avalanche in Italy, fourth major flood in Sydney since March, uh, record Alaskan wildfires, heat waves nonstop here in the States and, and Europe. The avalanche killed at least seven. And I put a picture up on my, on my community feed of the lightning strikes in Alaska. And, you know, gosh, there's floods and tornadoes in China. And it's just, it's just, you know, barraging us from all corners. And we want to keep this silly social, con the, this contract going that we can just keep producing. 
And then to top it all off, not that there is any hope, aerosols are keeping us cool by like around a degree global average wise. So yeah, we're we're shot in the dark. We we are done. And I know and and I wanted I'm I wanted to touch on the civil war thing to be to say begin with. That's that's a big crisis that we have on the horizon. But I know that people get really depressed with this information, and that's a choice. That's a choice you make hearing about the rapid decline of our economic, political, and environmental structure, which gives our life order at the moment, um, is really daunting. And I think most of us have gone through, have gotten to the acceptance phase, but at some point, it all, it crosses us, all of us. And I was already getting there too, before I found this lovely woman, I was just gonna go live in the woods pretty much. Like I don't see, I didn't see the point of doing anything really. I love creating content, but, um, it just doesn't make sense to me too to you know pursue many hobbies given human extinction right on the horizon. Not to mention political and uh, you know all of it combined. Anyways, just want to check in. I want you guys to sound off in the comments. What do you think the 2024 election will look like? I mean, does DeSantis gonna run? Who who's even qualified? And how are we gonna verify that it was a free and fair election given the state's laws changing as we speak? Yeah, pretty dismal. Cheers, mates. I'll catch up with you later. See ya.